everyone welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video we are going to understand how to add new slack messages in Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So here my objective is that I have created a channel on slack. I want that whenever a team member is going to send a message in that channel then automatically the user detail and the message should be added in my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So now to do this I need to build a connection between these two applications for which I'm going to use this amazing automation software that is Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect follows the concept of trigger and action. So here to do this my trigger application will be slack and my action application will be Microsoft Excel. So if you want to learn more about this, follow me through the screen. In this video, we are going to understand how to add new Slack channel messages in your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So here my objective is that whenever in my Slack channel, a team member is going to send a message, then I want to add the message details and the user detail in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So now to automate this entire process, I'm going to use Pabli Connect and as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm signing in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pabli Connect. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I'm going to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as add new Slack channel messages in Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Slack to Microsoft Excel automation because this automation involves Slack and Microsoft Excel. And here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of a trigger application and in a workflow, we can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case, that is to add new Slack channel messages in Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So in order to do that, I will go to my trigger window and over here, I'm going to search Slack as my trigger application. Here it is. And now the trigger event will be new message. So this trigger will start working whenever a new message will be posted in my Slack channel. And now moving to my action window, as I want to add the message and the user details in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So here Microsoft Excel will be my action application and the action event will be to add row to worksheet. So as you can see that I've selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So my objective is to add new Slack channel message in Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So now in order to do that, firstly, I need to establish a connection between Slack and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I will simply click on connect with Slack. I've already opened Slack in one of the tabs. And over here, I'm going to give the token type as user. So if you want to know more about Slack tokens, so here you can click on this link and you will get to know more about it. So I'm going to click on save. And over here, I'm going to give permission to Pabli Connect to access my workspace. So here I'm going to click on allow. So as it was a secure access, so the connection is established between Slack and Pabli Connect. So now moving to the channel. So over here, I need to select my Slack channel. So now I'm going to take you to my Slack account and show you the channel which I've created. So this here is my Slack channel by the name of social media team. So whenever in this channel, my team member is going to send a message. I want to add the message and the user details in my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So as the name of the channel is social media team. So over here from this drop down, I'm going to search for my channel and here I'm going to select it. So as I've selected my channel moving ahead, so our trigger application is a polling based one. So this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes. That means as soon as I will click on the save and send test request button, it will capture the most latest message which would have been sent in my channel. So over here, I'm going to send a message right now. And now I'm going to send it. So as you can see that a message has been successfully sent in my channel. So as I'm setting up this automation, so as I will click on the save and send test request button, I will get the message over here in the response. 
So as over here in the response, we have got the message over here successfully. So over here, if you would have noticed, we have not got the user details. We have only got the user ID. So now in order to get the username and the details, so here I'm going to click on this add action step. And over here, I'm going to search for Slack once again as my action application this time. And the action event will be to get user by ID. So here I'm going to click on connect and as I've already built a connection in this automation once, so I'm going with the existing one and clicking on save. So here you can see that Slack is once again connected. So now moving to the user ID. So here from the response which I've received from Slack, I'm going to map it. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous step. So as I've received it from the response from Slack, so here I've mapped it. So now I'm going to click on save and send test request. Here you can see that I have received a response and over here you can see that here is the username along with some other details. So as in my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, I want to mention the username along with the message which they have sent. So in order to do that, I will go to my action window of Microsoft Excel and here I need to establish a connection between Microsoft Excel and Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to click on connect. And to add a new connection, I will simply connect with my Microsoft Excel account. I've already opened my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet in one of the tabs. So here I'm going to click on accept as this is a secure access. And you can see that the authorization was successful. So over here, you can see that Microsoft Excel and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to the workbook part. So over here, this is my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet by the name of Slack messages. It only consists of two columns. First is of username, second is of the message content and of one sheet. So in this spreadsheet, I want to add the username and the message content details. So here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to search for my workbook as Slack messages. And here it is. So as here I've selected my workbook, it has automatically detected the drive ID and the worksheet. So now moving to the details of column A and the column B, that is for username and message content. So here to mention these details, I'm going to use a method that is called as mapping. So as I've told you that mapping means to insert the data from previous step. So as we have received the response, so here we are going to map it from that. So now I'm going to map the message content. So as you can see that I have mapped the details over here in these fields. This method of mapping is important so that every time I'm going to receive a new response, so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So in order to avoid that problem, we map the information. So as I've mapped the details, here I'm going to click on Save and Send Test Request. And here you can see that I have received a response and this here is a positive response. That means in my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet in a new row, the message detail and the username would have been added successfully. So here in the spreadsheet, you can see that in a new row, the username and the message content is successfully added. So this automation is a successful one. That means now whenever in my Slack channel, a team member is going to send a message, that message will automatically will be added in my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet along with the username detail. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.